Okay, so I wanted to do a review. Excuse background noise. My baby's in the living room and she's um, talking to herself and stuff and the TV's on. So anyway, excuse the background noise. So, I wanted to do a review. I wanted to do a review, finally. I didn't put any blush on. I wonder I look like a weirdo. Okay, that's better. I wanted to do a review today on the new Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And it comes in this little box like this, and the tube looks like that. Let's start off with packaging. Packaging is sleek. It's nice. It's sleek and nice when you take off. It doesn't, it looks like you would like pop it off, but you don't. You actually just twist it off. And it has a little doe foot applicator like this. And you can see that it's a creamy consistency. So it's a very creamy texture and when I first tried it on I thought it was comparable to the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but it's not. It's actually a little bit thinner. Um, the Pro Longwear Concealer is a little thicker. I do notice that the Pro Longwear Concealer um, just stays a little bit longer. This one has a tendency to settle into fine lines. You don't need a lot of um, loose powder to set it because if you do it'll actually end up caking even more. Um, it's really nice for a lightweight appearance. I find that using it on its own is not enough. It's, um, it's too lightweight if you are sleep deprived like a lot of people my age are. Whether that be potty or Baby. Yeah, that's why. Um, so I like that. It doesn't have any smell to it or anything, but I did notice the first two days that I wore it, it totally like caked right here, which I was not a fan of at all. Um, I wasn't impressed, which is why I didn't do a review sooner. It retails for $18, I believe. I'll put it right here, what it retails for. Um, mine is in the color light neutral and let's see it says that it's a buildable um, high-tech formula even coverage with an invisible naked skin feel and it never settles into fine lines well I call bullshit on the second one because it does settle into fine lines honestly a lot of things do that say they don't but I do agree that it's a light coverage. If you're looking for something light, if you um, just feel like you need to give your under eyes a brightening, then I definitely think that this is a great go. I'm not sure if you're looking for something to replace your MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't think that this is um, what you want. This isn't what you want. It's a good concealer. I would give it a B, solid B. It's not an A+, plus. it's not a B-, minus. it's a solid I really like Urban Decay, I really like a lot of their um, products, but I don't know about the concealer. I, I haven't actually, I didn't like the Naked Skin, well, that's a lot. When the Naked Skin came out, I was super into like heavy foundations, I was really into like a porcelain doll like appearance, whereas now I'm more into a more natural skin, so I think that I am, um, I'm, I may be more open to the naked skin now than I was when it first came out because I like a lighter coverage now. Today I'm wearing the MAC uh, Face and Body, which is really lightweight, if any of you know that, and it's also buildable. I find that it actually doesn't give me MACNE. I don't know, because maybe it's the lightest weight one. Um, my skin's changing, so I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to go throw it out there that my skin is the same as it was when I was 19 because it's not. But it's changing. I think it's actually changing for the better minus the slight wrinkles that we get. But that's what getting older is. Getting older is a privilege that is denied to many. And that's totally true. I don't know who said it, but it's true. So anyway, I really think that this is a decent concealer. I recommend trying it in the store first. It is brand new to Urban Decay, so I recommend asking Sephora for a sample and trying it yourself before purchasing. I did not do that. I wish I had, but that's okay. I still like it, I still use it. My Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer ran out. That is a comparable dupe to MAC. That is a different, a 
horse of a different color. So that ran out. I wanted to try something different, so I went ahead and get, got this. Um, I think I'm going to purchase the MAC Pro Longwear. I'm also running out of my paint pot, and I'm out of makeup wipes. So I'm going to be doing another MAC purchase, but probably maybe in March sometime. So yeah, that's pretty much my review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next video. Blah, blah, blah. Bye.